Hey guys, in this quick video, I'll basically be talking about the different artboard sizes that you can use. The first thing, like this actually is a request from one of my uh, viewers, Adil Beg. He uh, gave me a suggestion on some of the upcoming video sizes of artboards and difference between hybrid and native app designs. I may do the, the difference between hybrid and native app designs later, but let's just talk about the sizes of different artboards. Well, with any decision in UX or UI design, you ideally want to consult some statistics and see what users are using the most. As far as desktop sizes are concerned, I would highly recommend the sizes 1920 and 1080. So I can go ahead and create that 1920 and 1080. So that's one. And let me just go ahead and change the title here as well. 1920 and 1080. The other size, and again, like where am I actually getting these sizes from? Like you can consider these sizes, you can get these sizes from different browser display statistic sites. But for example, if we go to W3 schools, we, we can see that the most used specific style is 1920 by 1080. And then the most used is actually like 1366 and 768. But I think uh, based on where we are right now, that has been changed to 1920 and 1080. So my recommendation would be to get started with probably the lower size, which is 1366 by 768, 1366 by 768. And basically, then you can transition or create a design to 1920 by 1080. If you optimize your design for a smaller screen, uh, you can easily expand it to a larger one. But if you uh, create a design when you're actually going with a larger screen, it's, it's a bit hard to actually optimize it for the smaller screen. And obviously, you can see some of these statistics on other websites like StatCounter. And as you can see, uh, based on August, and if you're actually looking at the stats, like the first one is 1920 by 1080, the second one is uh, 1366 by 768, as you can see that it's steadily going down that particular uh, size. However, the 1920 by 1080 has a stagnant sort of a progression, which is why I recommended like 1920 by 1080 for desktop sizes. And let me just write it here as well. So you can see it a bit more uh, clearly. Let's just go ahead. So here we have 1920 by 1080. And then here we have 1366 by 768. So these are the two sizes I would recommend for desktop designs. For mobile designs, I would actually recommend uh, you working with Android sizes. And if you actually go here, here are some of the Android sizes that we basically have. I think based on the statistics that I know, um, using the iPhone 8 size would be a safe bet uh, to get started with. And then obviously you can also use, let me just go ahead and actually paste this size here as well. Um, here you go. We have this particular size, which is 375 and 667, 375 and 667. The other size that I would recommend when designing for mobile is the um, is the 360 by 640 size. If you want to optimize it, op optimize your design for Android devices, like I would recommend that size as well. Though obviously you can go slightly higher and choose the 414 by 896 one, which should be here as well. Uh, so 414 896 is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. You can also choose the iPhone iPhone 11 Pro, which is 375 by 812. But basically the 375 and 375 uh, size can actually be achieved by the iPhone 8 model as well, even though the height would be slightly less. So I would recommend using that for accessibility and maximizing the amount of users that you're getting traction with. If you, however, want to design for, let's say, and let me just go ahead and actually add the Android size here as well, which is going to be 360 uh, by 640, 360 by 640. So these are the Android sizes and the iPhone sizes that I would recommend you working with. If, however, you want to create designs for Dribble, I would actually recommend the size uh, on the desktop one. I would actually recommend going by something like this, which is the uh, 1440 by 1024, or you can change that manually to 1600 by 1024. I think these two sizes would be fine. So I can actually go ahead and duplicate them 1600 by 1024. And let's just go ahead and copy these here as well. 1600 by 1024. And then we have 1440 by 1024. 
by 1024. So these are the sizes that I would recommend for um, Dribble and the Dribble sizes for presentation in terms of like mobile devices, I would recommend the iPhone 11 Pro size, which should be fine. The one thing that I would highly recommend is when you're actually designing for any of these sizes, especially if let's say you're designing for uh, the iPhone size, you should note that you can go into your prototype settings and you can choose the device to be none. If you actually choose it to be the iPhone 11 Pro, it looks something like this. Um, and sometimes you may not necessarily want to do that. You may want to use a separate pattern or whatever it is. So there are a lot of mock-up tools that allow you to present your design into or place your designs into different devices. So you don't, so you don't necessarily have to use this. And again, this would also be problematic when you're actually pasting that image into a design. So I would recommend choosing the device to be none instead of a particular device. So here basically are the artboard sizes that I would recommend when you're starting off with your designs. Do subscribe, do hit the bell icon, do let me know if you need anything else. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.